In this video, we are going to learn two charts that we can use to show progress of our projects in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. Here we have the table in which we have progress of project A. The completed part of project A is 70% and yet to complete or not completed part is 30%. To create chart from this table, we simply need to select these four cells. The completed part with percentage and yet to complete part or not completed part with percentage that is 30%. We will select these four cells. We simply need to use shortcut key Alt F1. You will see immediately Excel will give you a chart, but this chart not completed part of this project. We cannot uh, track the progress of project from this chart. So we need to change the chart type. We will sing, please select this chart. We will go to the chart design tab. We will go to change chart type. We will click here and char in change chart type window. We will select pie chart and then we will select donate chart. We will go for OK. Now we have different chart. This is donate chart. This we can use to track or to show progress of our project. Let's make presentation of our chart a little bit professional. Let's remove grid lines from the background. We will go to the view tab. In the view tab, we need to uncheck this grid line box. When we will uncheck, we will see grid lines are disappeared. We also need to remove the outline of this chart. We simply select this chart. We go to the format tab. We go to shape outline. Then we will select no outline. You will see the outline is disappeared. Let's make the chart a little bit bigger. Let's change the title of this chart. You can simply copy from here and you can simply select and paste it here. We can change font color. We can make it a bit little bit bold. Now let's come to the chart. We need to double click on the chart and you will see format data point window will appear. In this window, what we need to do, first of all, we can make a little bit setting angle of this chart. In format data point window, we can go to this series options and let's make angle. 200. Let's make donate whole size maybe 60. Now we need to change colors to make it more suitable. You can see the blue part is completed. So let's change the color of this completed part. We will double click on this and in format data point window, we will come here fill and line and let's make it green. In color, let's we select the green and let's also select the outline. I will choose outline black color and for not completed part or yet to complete part I will select I will go to format data point window again and in color let's choose the red color because this part is yet to be completed right and for outline I will, I will use same black color and you can see now we have progress chart. Now to show the percentage, completion percentage, what we will do, we want to bring here in center this completion percentage. What we will do, we will simply go to the insert tab. In the insert tab, we will go to the illustration. We will select the shapes and from here we will select the text box. We will simply draw here text box. We will, in formula bar, we will insert equal sign and we will select the cell in which we have completed percentage. And I will press enter and you can see completed percentage here is here. We simply need to go to the home tab. We can change the font color. Let's say I will use this font color. I will make it a bigger. Let's say I will use size 36. I will make it center i also need to remove background of this box i will go to the shape format shape fill i will select no fill for outline i will select no outline and you can see here we have the completed percentage we can make it a little bit bigger if you want let's say i will make it 48 i think 48 is okay and now our progress chart is ready now let's try it let's change maybe completed part i will select 85 and here we go you can see the percentage is changing and you can see completed part color is also changing. Let's make it maybe 35%. Let's try maybe 55% and here we go. You can see the first chart progress chart is ready. Now let's move to the second progress chart that we can use to show progress of our project. I will go to the next window where we can see a table in which we can see progress of project B. 
completed part is 85%, not completed 15% and total of this project is 100%. For the second type of progress chart, we will simply select all these cells in which we have total completed and not completed part. We will use shortcut key same as we did last time, Alt F1 and Excel will give us a chart that is not suitable for progress to locate or to see progress of a project, right? Again, what we will do, we will select the chart, we will go to the chart design tab, we will select change chart type. In change chart type window, we will go to pie chart, donut chart, we will go for OK. Again, we will do the same steps that we did in our last chart, we will remove grid line colors to make our chart more professional, we will remove the outline of our chart and we will make it a little bit bigger and now we will change title of our chart we can simply copy and we can paste it here we can make color maybe black on tap color black now let's move to the presentation of this chart we can format our chart now we will double click on our chart so format data point window appears in this window we will go to the series options in series options let's this time use angle 270 we used angle 270 to make this 100% part at the bottom what we will do we will double click on this 100% part you can see we can in format data point window we will go to the fill and line and we will make it disappear we will do it no fill and for order we will make it no fill now you can see we have a kind of chart of speedometer right let's format this completed part and not completed part i will double click on completed part i will make the color maybe blue this blue color for outline i will use same blue color for not completed part i will select i will go to the format data point window and for fill i will use gradient fill this time and i will use gradient for full dark i will use this blue color and in the middle i will use a bit light blue color and at last I will use this blue color same for outline I will go to the border and here I will use gradient line same I will use first I will delete one I need here only three first I will use dark blue color then second in the middle a little bit light blue color and here light blue color now in the middle we need to bring hair percentage same what we did the last time we will go to the insert tab illustrations shapes text fill and here we will draw draw the text box and here in text box in formula bar we will use equal sign then select completed part enter now let's change the font color i will use here font color maybe this one I will make it a little bit bigger maybe 36 should be enough I will remove for this text box I will go shape format I will remove the fill no fill I will remove outline no outline and you can see now we have our chart ready now let's try our chart let's say our chart is completed maybe 35 percent and here we go you can see this is how beautiful Let's say our chart is 90% completed and you can see our chart is same like speedometer. So friends, that's all for today. I hope you learned something from this video. If you learned something from this video, please don't forget to give thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye-bye.